The class that you're hearing now is called Concert 2, as you can see in the program, but I wanted to tell, to tell you a little bit about them. This group is made up of sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and they are super fun group of people. We meet at 7.30 in the morning, and they're always telling me jokes, or making me laugh, or ready to do something fun, and it just makes my year to get to work with them almost every day. Uh, a lot of the people in this group are some of our biggest leaders within the orchestra. Uh, many of them are traveling to Chicago with us coming up in March. And um, there are also several of them who are involved in a group called Chamber Club, who goes out into the community to play and raise money. So if you happen to have any need for some type of chamber music, um, please shoot me an email and let me know and we will have a group come out to serve you. Speaking of which, we are traveling and um, our trip cost per person is at about $1,000 right now. And we would really like for that trip project, uh, cost for each person to come down. So there is a link in your program. And if you're feeling a little bit generous tonight and you'd like to donate um, something to a specific student that you know towards their trip, or if you just want to donate to the orchestra program in general, you can find the QR code there and it'll take you straight to the website where um, you can make a donation while you're here listening tonight, and we would be very um, thankful for that. We will continue with one of our favorites called Saber Dance.
is called Symphonic Orchestra, and it is our only group that is auditioned. Um, so you can audition in eighth grade or any one of the other years that you are here at Central High. And so that means it's made up of freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Would you raise your bow if you are currently taking private lessons? Almost all of them. Um, you can kind of hear the difference in some of the ensembles because this one has the largest amount of people that are taking private lessons. But we do have people in all three of our orchestras that are doing that. And um, that is all because of the people sitting in this audience. So a big thank you from the students with a stop to your parents for all of those private lessons. And as you can see, um, we have a really strong orchestral program here and our music department um, several years ago won a Grammy Award because we have such a great music department across the board in choir, band, and orchestra. And we like to do lots of collaborative things. So in that last piece, you saw a few students featured Lyric on the bass, Ava on viola solo, and Asher on violin. And they're all in the jazz band as one of their classes as well. We have many students who do multiple ensembles. And that brings strength to the rest of our groups. Um, we'll play another one for you. This one is one of the particular folk music um, styles that this orchestra is learning about. This piece is called Red Hair Boy.
The last group to join us tonight is the eighth graders, who I'm really hoping are going to come and join the high school orchestra next year. Uh, I've been going up to the to the middle school a couple times a week over these last five weeks, helping them learn this music, and they're going to join in with symphonic and sit next to a symphonic stand partner, hopefully being inspired. Um, and our orchestra will get just a little bit bigger. So while they take their seats, um, this would be a good time to stay with parents that were going to go help with cookies. This would be a really good time to go get those cookies set up in the outside area. And remember, if you needed something, you're just going to stand up. And Mr. McKinney or I will come find you. Speaking of which, Mr. McKinney, give a wave. We wouldn't have such a fabulous high school program without teachers like Mr. McKinney and all of the feeder schools in our elementary schools. They have taught these students everything they know, and it's a treasure. So I hope you're enjoying the evening tonight. We do have a lot more concerts in store for you this year. I put a few of those dates in the program. Our next concert is called Masterwork Concert. And in that concert, we will be going to um, Logan University, performing in a different space that's a little bit bigger. And we will be joined by full orchestra with winds and brass and three choirs from our school here. So it's quite a wonderful concert. If you don't have it on your calendar yet, I'd say put it on there right now. It's going to be really enjoyable. We're going to be doing Parts of Vivaldi Four Seasons, the Schubert Mass in G in its entirety, and part of Mozart's Requiem in that concert. Let's go ahead and two.
have such a beautiful sound. It's so inspiring to get to hear music like that every day. Um, and I'm so glad that the group of kids that played for you tonight have chosen to spend some of their time in high school or in middle school playing a musical instrument. It's so good for your heart, it's good for your body, it's good for your brain. Um, and I hope that they continue to love this type of thing for the rest of their lives. I know I certainly will. We have one more piece for you that might sound a little familiar. It's because it comes from the movie Brave, the Disney movie Brave, and that movie was based on some Scottish folk tunes. Um, so I would encourage parents and families and friends tonight who are here to maybe talk to the students about your own traditions of music and cultures that you enjoy celebrating in your family, because um, their project this later this week is coming up with some new music that they might want to share with you. Uh, so it'd be great to have your uh, input on some of those things. And please enjoy some cookies after the concert.